told us this week Ross he's got some football left in him. I thought that was interesting. We talked to Fangio yesterday and asked you know what guys have stood out to him. He went out of his way to point out that he thinks PG absolutely has some good snaps left in him for this season. Love to hear that. Lou Nichols takes one midway back into the end zone. And there's your new weapon Ross. Well speaking of guys that we're excited about how about Jahan Dotson former first round pick a couple years ago by Washington out of Penn State out and up love the concentration and ball skills that as a rookie and average 15 yards per catch not quite as good statistics a year ago in terms of touchdowns and yards per catch but obviously the Eagles really excited to get him in that receiver room Ross's tape breakdowns today presented by Wawa Wawa official hoagie of the Philadelphia Eagles Anaya Smith, the rookie out of Texas A&M, with that catch as birds go to basically two-minute drill, just under three minutes left here in the first half. Do you know if Hoagie Fest is still going? I do not know. I don't believe it is. I'm, I'm being told by our spotter that Hoagie Fest, that, well, it was awesome while it lasted. If anybody would know if Hoagie Fest was on, Mike <laughs> Shoot is your guy. <laughs> on second down, coming back near side, and Jenkins right on the line to gain. I believe he got the first down. They're giving him forward progress to the 41. Might be the last drive for Pickett and some of the other guys in there on the field right now. So this is Pickett's opportunity to show what he can do and certainly some of the skill guys that are in there. Paris Campbell, he had a catch on the prior drive. Anaya Smith getting on the mix. Campbell now at the bottom. Back down to the ground. And Lou Nichols stopped just shy of the 45. So two minutes to go till halftime. Birch trying to get back on the board. At EaglesRadioThon.com to start bidding, and Spuds has a little bit more. Yeah, Scott, I've got some of that autographed memorabilia here with me on the field. A red practice jersey signed by Jalen Hurts. You can't get this in any store. And how about the Saquon Barkley jersey, practice jersey worn by these players, autographed by these players. It is incredible. And um, bidding goes on through Thursday, August 29th, PhiladelphiaEagles.com. Thanks to WIP Sports Radio for their support in this as well. And these, this is your chance to help the Eagles Autism Foundation. You've done such a great job supporting the foundation for many, many years. We've raised more than $30 million. And you can have a chance to have these fantastic, unique, one-of-a-kind items. I'm trying to wear this. They won't let me wear it. I, I, I love the idea of the practice jersey. Uh, signed by Jalen. Well, it's game worn by Jalen Hurts, not game worn by Dave Spadaro. Uh, you know, you're trying to sell it a certain way, but hey, no, nope, I'm nope. not. No, no, Scott. I'm not a. I won't do it, guys. But thanks. I really want to. It's so cool. Look at that. Love it. Good but stuff. But I can't wear it. We got a timeout on the field as the Eagles are trying to push the ball into at least field goal range here late in the first half. Seasons. I'm so jealous of like the 10 year olds and 12 year olds out there that get to have this receiving duo for their team. I mean we always had it seeming like Mike Quick then for a while it was Fred Barnett Calvin Williams but not guys like this. I mean Mike was obviously fantastic T.O. for a little bit but to have Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown at the same time and both being locked in contract wise for a long time. Uh, Jeffrey Lurie, Howie Roseman making sure that that dynamic duo is going to be here for a while. We're going to hear from Jeffrey Lurie at halftime with a big announcement. The next Eagles Hall of Fame member will be announced. And on that fourth down run, that trip up in the backfield means the birds aren't going to get it. Lou Nichols got his feet taken out from underneath him. And never got the full head of steam. He had room on the outside to get that well, first down. Yeah, there was penetration. It was a nice job off the edge by the Vikings. Dwight McGlovern, the corner. He kind of beat E.J. Jenkins at the point of attack. E.J. Jenkins needs to get more 
on McLaughlin. That's a tight end against the corner. If Jenkins has a better block, Nichols gets that first down. So the Vikings now, with a minute 25 to go till halftime, can press what has already been a big first half offensive advantage with 194 total yards. Jaron Hall with a blitz coming. It's picked up. Not picked up enough. Oren Burks got in for the sack back at the 46. We talked about him earlier, Scott. We said Oren Burks has to show something. He heard us. Watch this. Woo! Nice little swim move there on Gaskin. That's how you do it, Oren Burks. We talked about it. He played in the Super Bowl. He's played in four NFC Championship games in his career. So we know he's good on special teams. We know he's good in coverage. Now we know he's pretty good as a blitzer. On second down, they come back to the near side, and Harry is open. And he very gently works his way out of bounds, about a yard shy of the first down at the 40. And those are the type of things that really get Vic Fangio and the defensive coordinator and the defensive coaches, I should say, frustrated because that's a dropped coverage. I mean, there was nobody on Nikhil Harry. He was totally wide open. On Nikhil Harry, he was totally wide open. So third and 15, or, or a second and 15, I should say, becomes a third and one now with 46 seconds left to go in the half. And back to the ground. Gaskins got that and more. Down inside the 35, the Vikings move the sticks. Vikings have three timeouts. I believe they just used the first one. Eagles defense trying to hang on for this final 41 seconds in the first half. Chairman and CEO Jeffrey Lurie. Then we'll be back and review the first half stats. Those stats have heavily favored the Vikings in this one. They have spent a lot of time on the offensive here in this first half. Jaron Hall is thrown for 142 yards, a couple of touchdowns. He's got a first down now at the Eagles 35 yard line. 40 seconds and counting left in the half, and that's going to be more. And that is Hall to Hall down to the 15 yard line. Minnesota's in the red zone again. Kevin O'Connell is going to use his second timeout. So now the Vikings are in a really good spot to be down at the 15 yard line and still have a timeout. Once again, excellent protection by the Vikings. Hall puts the ball on the money. You don't see that very often, do you? Hall to Hall. It's a Hall a, pass. A, a <laughs> oh, man. That was nice, Scott. <laughs> oh, man. Were you a big Hall pass guy in high school? Yeah, I was, actually. Of course. Has Jaron Hall thrown a bad pass yet in this game? He really has looked razor sharp in this one. Remember, Sam Darnold is the starter for this team. Nick Mullins is likely their backup. I can imagine some Vikings fans thinking number 16 should be their backup the way he's playing in this game. First down for the 15 yard line. Ooh, Hall got hit, threw it, and it is caught but out of bounds for the second time in the game. Lucky Jackson comes down with the ball but without both feet in bounds in the end zone. Working against Cooper DeGene, the second round rookie again. Left foot down. He's got to drag the right foot. I mean, that's twice he did that now. Cooper DeGene is fortunate that Lucky Jackson is not very adept at dragging the second foot. That's a beautiful throw by Hall. That needs to be a touchdown. If that's Devontae Smith, that's a touchdown. I mean, Hall's getting rocked by Booker, and he still drops it right in the bucket. 28 seconds left now in the half. Coming back near side. That's dropped down at the 10-yard line. It was there, it was catchable, but Jay Sean Jones, the rookie out of Maryland, couldn't haul it in. That stops the clock at 23 seconds. Well, the D-line's getting a little bit of time now after the incompletion to rest up. This is when those guys, I mean, those guys you're looking at right there, Patrick Johnson, Booker, Nolan Smith, Ajuma, they played a lot of football. I mean, they've been around the NFL for a few years. They're guys that have played snaps in regular season games. They need to get some pressure. Looks like a Jumma's rushing off the edge here, the D tackle. You want one of them to get home. And that 
pressure forces an errant throw way up over the top of Miles Gaskin and brings up a fourth down that'll bring on the Vikings field goal unit. Good job, quick pressure, errant throw. And instead of a drive continuing, it'll be a 33-yard field goal attempt for the rookie Will Reichard out of Alabama. Strong leg, watched him in warm-ups today. And that one is good. So the Vikings expand their lead. Now, the birds are down with just over a half a football to play 20 to 3, but if you've stayed with us all throughout the preseason, you really.